ericmwadithmwadith.com. Let's take a look at Ethereum. And I am recording this on January 10th. It's about 6.27 Central Time. Now this is going to be video number three and it's going to be the th last one out of this series. So take a look. I'm going to include the videos to the previous two where I have been discussing Ethereum versus the dollar right there. And let me show you what I'm looking at here in terms of the hourly chart. And actually, by the way, let's take a look at something here overnight we see that Ethereum has actually gone beyond the intraday highs of yesterday. Right now, intraday highs is showing at 1386.99 and this one is from the Coin Coinbase or GDAX exchange. Let me change that a little bit to Bitfinex. And we can see here a little bit of a change that's the last price for Ethereum versus the dollar. The high there is at 13.82 as far as Bitfinex exchange is concerned. All right. Now that we got that, let's take a look at what happened overnight. Now we were talking about two levels in the previous video. I'm going to add a third level. So let's go to the to make it very clear, you might need to watch the previous two videos again. The links are going to be in the description of the video. This was the first line we were watching. Take a look at what happened here. We've gone above the line and back below it with uniform action. Right here. Because it is uniform action, that means that this is a meaningful high for Ethereum. So that was the first lines we drew. Let's take a look at the other line. And the other line is this line here. And again, we see that to understand this is to understand uniform action. And I'm going to include a link again in the description explaining this uniform action. And here we went above the line and back below it with uniform action, which means that this is a meaningful high, at least in the short term or, maj or maybe a major high. It just depends on how things play out. But right now, it looks like this is a meaningful high for Ethereum versus the dollar or ETH. And then there's one more, which is actually the uniformity line. So there's a break here. Usually before we see a major high, there's always a warning high. So that break gave us this shallow pullback because we came back and took it out. Right? But we got this pullback, which is a sometimes what I call a warning high. Take that information and draw our uniformity line. In other words, draw a line from this breakpoint here. And you can see what happened here is we came back to test the same line or the same level, the uniformity line. We tag that line with uniform action. We kiss it and we pull back again, which means that this is another understanding that this is also another meaningful high as far as I can tell for Ethereum. Let's also not forget we've seen an hour to hour improvement. Take a look at the technicals though. This is clear negative divergence which means that that's another red flag as far as Ethereum's technical picture looks. Now remember I've been using RSI setting of 26 on this hourly chart. Now for perspective. Now I have to say something here. It's just my own personal humble opinion. So d don't get too caught up with what I'm saying. But from what I look, what I'm looking at, it's just from my own experience, I think, and I've been saying this, I think there is a huge developing story here that this thing has been moving higher. All these cryptocurrencies have been moving higher and I think the bubble has bust. I think the cryptos have, have peaked. Now, they're not going to peak all at the same time. But I think around here towards end of 
2017 December and early January 2018 I'm starting to see a lot of the charts a lot of the cryptos after going through a very hyperbolic move they are now popping now it's not gonna be a straight shot down but my own personal feeling and again don't get too caught up it's just my own I'm just sharing you from my own technical look it looks like this bubble has bust now it might need a reset and a future breakout to reset things and to bring momentum back in the name for example if you take a look at ethereum's weekly chart i'll show you what i mean so go back to the beginning part of 2017 we see this explosive price action here by ethereum now it it makes a high sometime at the beginning of july late may or june let's call it about june of this of last year 2017 now we get this pullback now the way you know it's a reset is if it breaks out again that's when you know that there's more upside so right now i think all the cryptos as a group they've gone through this explosive run in late 2017 into early 2018 now they are in a reset now i think the bubble has burst for now but we can actually continue playing the cryptos if they ever break out again at some point in the coming weeks or in the coming months without a breakout then this reset might actually mean they're gonna go down substantially we are talking about corrections from the highs of 61.8 even lower usually if this was a major major bubble or a major major end of a huge bull market they might go down as much as 90 percent from their highs now i know those are fantastic things to expect but just that's just how things happen so either we are going to get a reset and they're going to go into sideways action so let me just explain this so we've seen a huge run up now they are correcting as a group so the question is are they gonna correct stabilize and then break out because if they do then that's fine it means that the crypto space is gonna be digesting the recent gains and that any future breakout means that phew we can still be looking for the crypto space for momentum so right now what i'm saying is i believe we are in this phase which is a pullback phase and we don't know whether we get sideways action or a major correction now the other scenario which i am sure those who are bullish on this space would not like to consider is the other scenario is we, do, we pull back right now we continue trying to capture highs but we keep making this type of a move ultimately we drop and again somewhere in the range of 61.8 percent drop all the way to 90 percent drop is possible so i'm not sure which one of these scenarios but what i think in fact not what i think but what is happening is we are in this initial drop phase and this initial drop phase can actually be very tricky because what happens is think of it like a ball so you the ball goes so high and when it drops back the initial bounce tends to be high and then the next bounce is lower and lower so if you consider this to be a ball and this was the initial explosive phase for the cryptos what gets confusing in the market is that the initial bounce after the first drop which is where we are right now we are in this initial drop this initial drop can actually generate a very strong bounce and that bounce actually tends to confuse people thinking that the rally is going to continue but actually what is happening is the bounce is going to be strong because of this big drop just like a ball but ultimately it does not take out the prior highs and that's why i'm saying that unless we can break out past the recent highs unless we break out past recent highs for example 
unless Bitcoin can move above 20,000, then we are going to be looking at a scenario where we might see a major, major pullback. For everything to reset, as an example, BTC versus the dollar would have to clear the recent highs of 20,000. If it moves above 20,000, then the market has reset. The market is ready to move higher. But I think that's, you know, that's still going to play out. More than likely, without a breakout, we are going to see a major, major correction. What we saw in the cryptocurrency space in 2017 <laughs> is what, what happened in late 1999 to early 2000 as far as technology names are concerned. All right, and this phase was very explosive, but ultimately they dropped almost close to 90% across the board. Now, if you take a look at this weekly chart for Ethereum, after this pullback in the middle of the year, there was this sideways action. All right? Now, we know that eventually it breaks out, and that's why in late November, I had given the buy point for Ethereum if it broke out above the weekly closing high. I believe that was at 387. We set an alert. If it broke out above 3.87, we knew that it was time to consider a re-entry or a buy situation. Now, if we go and take a look at what happened, here we go. We still haven't broken out, haven't broken out, and then now things start looking interesting. We are getting close to breaking out. So, of course, if you play momentum, you know that if it breaks out, it's time to go along again. All right, so let's keep moving. There, we broke out. And, of course, that breakout now is very evident on the weekly chart. Once you break out, you know that that was the entry right there. And, of course, your window is going to be about 5% from this close on a weekly closing basis. And, of course, it goes on to record a substantial increase. Right. So, right now, we are trading at 1330 as far as the Bitfinex exchange is concerned. Now this is a huge run up. It needs to cool off and again the question is is it going to go sideways and ultimately break out again? Because if it breaks out again of course we can play any future breakout or is it going to go into a major correction where well, we might see a drop of 50% 61.8% or even close to 90% which is what happens at the end of a major major bubble bust so we don't know so right now we're in that confusing phase but based on the hourly charts what I'm trying to discuss here based on what we've been discussing in this series on the hourly charts it looks like we've peaked and now we can start looking for a pullback the question here is is it going to be a pullback, sideways action, and then a breakout? Or is it going to be a pullback which begins the major, major drop? Time will tell. And again, this is the last of the series. T make sure you watch video number one and number two in this series. This is going to be the last one. This is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C. Yes. Mwah. Woo. Blue.